What is up, Flawlessly Kings and Queens? Welcome back to my channel. Now, I know y'all miss me all day, but your girl was just relaxing with the kids. But I miss y'all. So, y'all already know I'm coming back with the click. No, we got Steph Lawn Dawn in the click today, you guys. And we also have Burner Boy in the click today, you guys. Now, I know I'm late with the news, but it's not popping if it's not coming from me, period. Besides, y'all already know I made my reservations, and y'all already know we most definitely gonna talk about it. Now, for those who do not know, Burner Boy and Steph Lawn Dawn is no longer together they broke up and Steph Dawn is now coming out telling the reason why she broke up with him only after the fact that Burner Boy was exposed by Diamond the Body and she said he said he feels safer over here this is where the good coochie be not the good coochie but Steph Lawn says so I didn't want to mention this before but it I gotta say it y'all African giant is an important man I left his because he couldn't give me a baby Oh, hell no. What? What the f Now, Steph Lawn Dawn is mad disrespectful for even putting that out there like that. Because if you wasn't going to say nothing then, sis, you could have kept that to yourself. Because that's mad disrespectful. Burner Boy said, okay, yes, I'm an impotent gorilla, but I got money, so F it. Now, Click, I find this extremely disrespectful and so offensive. Because had it been Steph Lawn Dawn not being able to have a baby and Burner Boy exposed that, everybody would have been attacking him. Like, that's just not cool. I could see if she would have said, all right, he cheated on me. He's he's in me dirty. He's mad disrespectful. X, Y, and Z. I took him back. Those are all different things. Those are all reasons why you would want to break up with somebody. But to break up with him because he couldn't give you a baby, sis? These are conversations you are supposed to have when you are in a dating phase. So the fact that she thought she ate with that comment, she most definitely did not. She actually looked way much more heartless than anything. And then she got the nerve to come out with this statement. She said, I broke up with Burner Boy because he has a fragile ego he sees his friend Wizkid as a competition despite knowing Wizkid is bigger than he is he can't even satisfy me in bed shaking my head he bullied me the last time I wanted to talk but not anymore I mean so what's the real what's the real difference now besides the fact that he was just exposed by another girl that he was sleeping in the bed with her it's given very much better that's just my okay. opinion because you wasn't gonna say nothing at all you're saying you got bullied but now you got enough guts to talk about it now I just don't get it i mean then to try to expose him and say that he's like <laughs> he feel like he in competition with his friend like sis you mad dirty you're real bitter <laughs> y'all let me know in the comments below what y'all feel about the situation I'd love to know your thoughts. But next in the click, we got Natalie Nunn. And we also got Krishan Rock back in the click today, you guys. Now, you guys, Krishan Rock tweeted, I carried the whole baddie South show. Who want to argue that? Then someone else tweeted, Natalie Nunn brought us the show. Girl, bye. Then Natalie Nunn replied and said, you got to put in time before you can be a name. The whole world knows and you walk into a network and they green light your shows. It's not a sprint. It's a marathon. Again, Rock, you did your thing, but people were sleeping on you. I brought you to the table. I saw your talent. Again, relax. Then, of course, y'all know I had to insert myself and I said, well, you did bring her on the show, but you also know that she has a lot of clout from the whole blue face public humiliation stunts going on so i say it was a win-win for everyone she then replied back and said it's not about that it's that the head of networks trust my insights i can walk into any network and have a meeting and pitch talent people i've put my dues in time and created amazing relationships just because you're on blogs daily with drama and legal issues doesn't mean sh now, when I tried to reply back, you couldn't reply back no more. So Shorty tried it. So I'm glad that I got this platform because now I'm going to talk my sh**. Now, let's really keep it real. Baddies Atlanta did not go nowhere. And you can sit here and try to use yourself and take all the credit like, oh, you seen Rock's talent. There was no talent on that show but fights, attitudes, egos, cigarettes, and weed. Oh, and a lot of kissing, partying, drinking. You already know how the reality TV shows go nowadays. The point is you handpicked the littest people. And the and the littest person on that show at that time is Krishan Rock. Because a lot of people know that she is clout. Whether it was from a negative situation or not, she still brought the 
fire to the show. That's my opinion. Y'all use her fighting clips to pull everybody in. Y'all use her laughing. Y'all use her getting upset. Y'all use that whole big brawl outside to bring all the views in. I mean, it's all just a marketing thing. Let's not even sit here in front. But the point is, a lot of people were getting their subscriptions because they wanted to see Rock. People knew Rock as always fighting, fighting on a blue girls club, just as well as Natalie Nunn knew that that's what she was about. So she need girls that were young and youthful, lit, and want to fight. That's all she need because everybody want to see that. So that's my opinion on the whole situation. Y'all can let me know in the comments below what y'all feel about the situation. I'd love to know your thoughts. I mean, if you ask me, Natalie Nunn is too old to be still fighting on shows that's just my opinion you was in bad girls club the whole point of bad girls club was to come in a bad girl and leave just changing like but it's like come on years and years later and you bragging about the fact that you're the original but you did not start bad girls club anywho Next in the click, we got CJ So Cool back in the click today, you guys. And it seems like Kamari is back home, but there's already some issues going on. Now, CJ expressed that he was a little irritated that his daughter, Kamari, always calls him and always asking him for money rather than calling him saying how he was doing and just having a regular conversation. So Kamari took to her TikTok and she wrote, there he go again lying, but I'm not here for it. So I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. Y'all take a look. Matter of fact, I just had an argument with Kamari yesterday, man. She just literally hit me up and said, Daddy, send me $50. I'm like, for what? She was like, because we finna go to the mall. I was like, okay. And I was blown. I, I told Kamari, I was like, listen, I'm your dad. All right? I'm not your ATM machine. Yeah, not before I keep going. Yes, I gave her the freaking $50, Bruh. but that's not the point. The point is, kids are growing up, and they're not growing up with respect. Like, if it was me and she was my mom and I was her son, I would be more of, hey, how you doing, mom? I love you. I miss you. How you been? Can I get $50? Like that. You know what I'm saying? You just don't hit me out of nowhere, out the blue. I ain't talked to you since you left. And the first thing you said, give me some money. That is not, that's not a good feeling for me, all right? So that's for you guys out there growing up who, who don't live with your parent, for your, with your dad, or you don't live with your mom, whatever the situation is, and one of them have... Uh, access to money and you know it don't just be I ain't gonna say begging cuz you're their kid it's not really begging but don't be hassling them alright don't only hit them up for money cuz it doesn't feel good hit them up when you don't need something that makes it feel way better when you do need something and you ask for it cuz if you hit me up every day showing that love showing that affection of course when you need something boom it's right there no argument I ain't, gonna, I ain't gotta say nothing but if I haven't if I haven't heard from you and then you just ask me for something it's gonna make me feel some type of way especially cuz I already didn't gave you everything now, that's out the way. I just, I don't know why that was on my mind. I don't know how to be a parent as best as I can be. I'm still learning. Well, first things first, I just want to say that I really commend the fact that he said he don't know how to be a parent and he's still learning because I think Ray Charles could see that. And all jokes aside, I have seen a lot of things in his vlogs that I did not agree with, in my opinion, as a parent. But there's nothing wrong with someone who don't know what they're doing and, and you just genuinely just don't really know how to handle things. However, what I will say is he does have money and he does use it a lot and your child is only going to do what you allow that child to do so if she's used to just asking you for money and you're not sitting down having a conversation with her letting her know how you feel and how you think she should approach you then she's going to continue to do exactly what she's been doing sad truth but our children is a reflection of us we are their providers we are the ones who are supposed to be their teachers we raise them so when he mentioned that he didn't do that with his mom that he used to call her and just you know have regular conversations with her it's because we knew better our parents didn't play that with us so maybe it's just time for him to use and do what his mom did to him because he should break the cycle it's not about you know trying to be overbearing because kids nowadays are very rebellious they feel like you know they shouldn't have to listen they shouldn't do this and do that but this is where you come in as a parent and you let them know that who's the boss this is not a game because at the end of the day him still giving her the fifty dollars didn't teach her anything and he he is human so i can understand as a parent if i was in that predicament and i never see my daughter and i only see her on holidays or whatever special occasions and then i don't speak to her when she get home and then i don't know where she calls me i would feel some type of way that you just calling me for money rather than saying hey i'm alive i'm home and not for nothing if i was a child and i called my father a liar it would have been on and popping so at the end of the day these kids really got it good cj most definitely needs to put her in her place definitely work on the 
communication side because you do, you you have to learn how to talk to your daughters. But at the same time, he definitely need to cut that money train off. And if she has everything she needs, she shouldn't need any other money. I think he definitely needs to make sure that she knows how to communicate and speak to him through and off social media because it's just disrespectful. Anyways, y'all let me know in the comments below what y'all feel about this situation. I'd love to know your thoughts. On the road to 30K, love you guys so much. Hit that subscribe button, turn that post notification on, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!